Hi, this is Miriam from Fat Tax Accountants. I'm doing an amazing segment on all things you've got to know about accounting, bookkeeping and tax. If you want your business to be profitable, you've got to listen to this. I'm giving my secrets and tips on getting the most from your accountant, on what you need to do, the basics, and then how to save yourself thousands in tax. So stay tuned for the best episode ever. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got the fabulous accountant herself. Miriam, how are you doing today? I'm great, Prosper. Thanks for having me. It's awesome to be able to um, be on your show this morning. Really looking forward to it. Well, we've waited all morning to, to actually get you on. So thank you so much for your time. Now, Miriam works um, and owns Flinders Accounting and Bookkeeping. They were established in around two, 2011, was it? Yes, you've done your research. All right, stuff. <laughs> And that was about in Adelaide. So she works between um, Adelaide and Melbourne, and they support clients across Australia, providing them with a quality and affordable accounting and financial advice. Now, money, finances are things that people love, but they don't understand. How do you work with your clients then, uh, Miriam, to get them tax ready and to actually make sure that they're running their business so that it's profitable and it's enjoyable? Um, great question. I think around money sometimes there's a bit of the fear of the unknown. Um, so a lot of clients will sometimes be a bit anxious about oh, having to see their accountant. They sometimes equate it to being um, a, a, like a dentist visit sometimes. Oh, I have to go see my accountant. Um, so there's sometimes a bit of the unknown, but I definitely think um, if you want to be successful in your business, you have to understand that understanding your finances, your money, your financials in your business is going to be key to um, growing your business into what you want it to be. So one of those first things is as soon as you start a business, I'm talking a lot to entrepreneurs here, I believe, is get in touch with a good accountant and they can steer you in the right path and help you not make the mistakes that sometimes I see a lot of um, a business owners start up their business, get all excited, that get preoccupied with their business and then forget about their numbers and all of a sudden they're behind in their basses or they're behind in their tax returns and it just becomes too overwhelming and they don't do anything about it. So it's just getting on top of things whenever you are. So if you are in that position or wherever you are, getting on top of things and talking to someone and getting advice, someone that with, that's proactive. If you're starting a business, often cash flows sometimes really tight. So it's trying to find someone that can give you value as well um, with, with those services. Great stuff. And obviously you do sound like you know what you're doing with entrepreneurs, especially because we want them to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable right from the get go. Is there just a few steps or certain things that they need to make sure they have as a bare minimum so that they can present to an accountant or to, you know, for their maybe first tax return um, in their first year in business? Yep. So one of the first things that you've got to do is get your structure right. Um, so often you might start out as a sole trader. We had a little joke around before where um, Prosper actually said, don't sue me about anything. Um, and just understanding that if you're, if you're wanting to make a profit in your business, you've got to understand and get the right tax structure from the beginning. So understand the difference between a sole trader, ABN, a company and a trust. And um, it, I'm happy to explain the difference between those. You'll be able to see an accountant and get advice. Um, but just understand the difference between those three and make sure your entity is the correct one for where you're at in your business at the moment. It might change six months down the track. When you become profitable, you might need a trust structure or you might be in a business where you could be getting sued for something. And so a sole trader is not the right one for you um, because there is liability um, with a sole trader. There's less liability with the other entity. So just understanding the basics uh, before you go gung ho out and go, yes, I've got my business. Just understand, okay, what type of structure do you have? Um, the second thing as well is really important is just getting some basic bookkeeping software. 
Um, so there's a lot of cheap software out there. It's not too expensive and it frees up your time. Um, so I use, I work with clients with all different software. There is one that I prefer just because it's easier. Um, but, and there's different ranges available, but it just means if you're on software from the beginning, um, then you're doing things correctly and you can understand your finances, um, a lot easier than someone who's got multiple bank accounts, personal bank accounts, business bank accounts, using cash, spending on credit cards, money's coming in from a PayPal account, a personal PayPal account, and it just creates a mess in a year's time when you need to go see your accountant. So just getting a few things together in the beginning, separating out your business income, separating out your business expenses, trying to use, um, trying to not pay for cash because then you lose your receipts, you can't claim it as a tax deduction. Um, and just getting those basics set up will save you a lot of stress down the track. Great stuff. Thank you so much. Now, Miriam, um, if I heard you correctly, you were about to mention um, a software that you can recommend. I mean, every day that I wake up, there's somebody who's designed some sort of a software, an app that can take my job away. I, I don't know yep. if that will, will not be taking your, your work away if people uh, invest in softwares there. Yeah, so... The one that I use, uh, like, so the one that I'm certified in is Xero. Uh, there's three majors in Australia, Myob, QuickBooks and Xero. QuickBooks is probably the cheapest one uh, and Myob and Xero about the similar prices. So it depends on your business what one will be most suitable, but I find Xero really easy, but I work with clients on Myob and QuickBooks. The main way I liken um, software to, it's like driving, especially Xero, it's like driving a Ferrari. So you need, like, it's great, it's awesome, it does a lot for you, but you need to learn the basics or you have to have someone trained up. Otherwise, you could potentially create more of a mess within your uh, software if you don't know what you're doing. But you get you book in for an hour training or hour consult and then there's some ongoing touch points to see if you've got any issues and um, we can help sort out clients. But I have seen clients try and do it all themselves and have created with all the different softwares and cr have created more of a mess um, that's quite hard to untangle. So it's always, always great to get a little bit of training um, in the beginning. Um, and we're talking an hour. And I've teached my sisters who don't know accounting, don't know tax, they're teachers. <laughs> I've t taught them how to use um, the bookkeeping software. I've taught tradies that are very hands-on and don't do numbers. Um, I've taught them how to do the basics. And then I've taught uh, almost everybody. And then at some point in your business, you've got to work out where your time is best spent and whether it's best spent getting on a bookkeeper or um, we provide bookkeeping and accounting packages and all in one service. Um, but it's working out what your time is best spent. But I always think, regardless of your business size, you should be knowing what your income and expenses are and not just saying, oh, the bookkeeper accountant is handling it. You should know exactly what's going on in your business and be reviewing your expenses. So sometimes it's great to just sit there and go through everything and really just make sure you know where your money's going. And that happens from just sitting down, doing your books once a week, once a month. Um, and, and just really understanding where you're going. And it, it's easy with this type of software available. It's not like old school. Um, I don't even know what old school is, but apparently they did it on pen and paper in ledgers. Uh, <laughs> but we're talking about really easy software. I say, if you know how to use Facebook, you know how to use accounting software. <laughs> Understandable. The, the ancient um, technology was T accounts. I think there was, yeah. um, you know, expenses or something else that was going on there. <laughs> So, so obviously you do offer a, a recurring service to your, to your clients. I'm, I'm also going to ask you a little bit later who you actually serve. Um, you know, some accounting firms that um, working around here, they open, um, you know, just really close to tech season and then they close pretty much after that. Um, but when you're running a small business, like you're saying, you're going to be needing help all year round. And um, does your firm um, help people throughout just in case something comes up and you don't want to wait until tax season in order to get your issue addressed? Yeah, so the ones that are opening and closing, they just do the tax returns. They'll advertise hard in tax time um, and they really just do a tax return. I would always say go see a proactive accountant because you're just seeing someone that's just asking questions and doesn't quite understand um, what, the, particularly a business. Um, so yeah, we're open year round. Um, 
we, we run, we have, we have to run clients payroll. So, you know, every between Christmas and new year, I've got to have someone around to run everyone's payroll for all the clients that we manage. So, and I think it's really important uh, to have an accountant that you can be doing tax planning with, particularly around April, May, June. Um, if you're on software, you'll know whether you're making a profit and you'll know whether you not need to start doing some additional tax planning to be uh, working out what you can be doing to um, minimise legally your taxes. So it's really important. Um, I am probably not like a traditional accountant. You might have picked up on that already. Um, <laughs> but I love interacting so with my clients. So um, I, I see my clients as a sort of lifelong relationship. So um, I become friends with them on Facebook. They, if they've got a question, they Facebook messenger to me sometimes. So I'm always sort of aware. I also like my clients' business pages. So I follow what they're doing. I follow them on Instagram and I just, I'm there to sort of see what they're doing because I'm a business owner myself. And I think it's really important when you are seeing an accountant, um, you you can some you might be seeing an employee but if you're a business owner i think the way you need to look at your account is is having someone in your a team and having someone that you want to aspire to be one day because uh, it's really important particularly when you're starting out and that's why i help a lot of um sort of a lot of women as well starting out in businesses i have a lot of tradies um but i, I surround myself with clients that um want to make a difference with their business, want to help their family with their businesses and want to grow their businesses. So it's a really, and you've, you've got a probably a similar community, Prosper, but it's really good to have, and that's what I feel like, engaging with them on all different types of platforms is about creating that um, community. So I see sort of my clients and I see what I'm doing as sort of a family and um, we're really helping each other out and we're really all wanting to um, win with our businesses and then also with our family and personal because it's not just about business it's about everything um, to do with your life and where you want to go understandable because now we live outside a 24-hour box you know what i mean my family uh, my cars my investments all of that require my solid attention and without a proper tax accountant or without a proper um you know financial advisor to you know lead you into all those things you might be um you know chasing waterfalls and thinking that you're doing good things but it's, it's not like that i like how you encompass um, everybody into like a family and you know even though your clients are diverse um, you know they all feel included now somebody will be watching this show right now Miriam and they're just thinking would she work with me what sort of people do you take on in order to um, include them into your family then yeah um, so I, um, I'm a part of a few women groups, uh, particularly in Adelaide. So I help a lot of them. They're starting out um, and you've got to be mindful when you're um, starting out in business, it, there's just sometimes not that cash flow to be able to like um, provide huge amounts of support to them because we've got to be mindful. Like I, I'm, my, I'm great at what I do, but I also charge out for it. So wherever possible, I try and add value. And if I'm seeing sort of a someone starting out in business, it's just making sure they're set up on the basics and we're making sure they've got their, whether they know whether they should or shouldn't be registered for GST. That's a big one. People just are totally confused. And at what point they should be registered for GST. I make sure they've got a good bookkeeping system in place. So whether that's they're still using Excel or they're using, um, say, a, an online accounting software, depending on what their personality is like as well. Um, and then as their business grows, so we'll be tracking as soon as they start becoming more profitable, that's when we really need to step it up and do some more tax planning. And if we're saving them $10,000 in tax, they'll be happy to pay for those services because um, they're saving, you know, and regularly we'll save clients, particularly when they start becoming more profitable and we start changing their structures, involving a trust um, and looking at ways we can um, legally reduce their tax. Then obviously they um, are really um, what they are in their business. Another thing that a clients need help with as soon as they start employing their first employee, that's another time that they um, will contact me is I've got my first employee, 
what do I need to do? And that's when you've really, it's not just about you anymore. You've got someone else that you're responsible for and you've got legal obligations to pay their super, to give them pay slips, to make sure you're paying them the correct amounts and we'll help a client through that process as well. Understandable. So every, you know, level has its own little devil. So, you know, if you've got the fab team behind your back, they will always make sure that they've got you covered. Hey, Miriam, you know, we, we've been talking about how people can get, um, you know, ready right from the start, how they can get text ready and how you support them all the way through. And we've also mentioned the type of people that you are open to work with. And, um, You've mentioned, uh, you know, people that are starting out and trade is mainly. Now, somebody would be watching this video right now and they're sitting at the edge of their seat and they really want to get a hold of you. How can they best do that? Yeah. Um, so you can, and I will say, yeah, I help. So I help clients from startup and then I help clients that are obviously turning over um, millions of dollars. One of the things that I love to do is just help with them and grow with them. So it's, um, I've got so many success stories where I've started out with clients that have been turning over sort of under a hundred thousand and they're now turning over multi-million dollar businesses. So it's really the type of person that I like to work with. And I will sometimes say, no, if they just, if we just don't click, if they're making excuses about their business, if they're sort of like, yeah, you can see the type of person. Um, if they're really wanting to give it a go, then they're the absolutely like the best type of client. You know that they'll make it. Everyone, it's really tough in business um, at the moment. And um, it, it's really important that you have someone with the right mindset or someone that's trying to learn and grow um, as well. So I am available. Um, you can Facebook message me. Um, Miriam Clappus, or you can go to my website, fabtax.com.au. We do offer a free 15 minute consultation on there. Um, and those appointments are generally taken with myself. So feel free if you do have a few quick questions, um, feel free to contact myself. Um, we're very confident in that um, a lot of accountants at the moment, um, they're probably a little bit more old school. They've been um, just, they do the tax return, they hand you the tax bill and they hand you that fee. And there's not really that, um, there's not really that connection there or there's not really that, um, are we doing the best we can for this client? Because they've kind of just got their, you know, 1,000, 2,000 clients sitting there and they're just, you know, just doing tax returns. Whereas I've grown this business from zero clients six years ago to now um, quite a few thousand clients, but um, none of my clients are numbers. Like I love all my clients. I love helping them with their businesses. And it's really just a sense of um, being able to give back to people as well. I'm really passionate about small business. Um, I've grown up in small business. Um, it's been my whole life basically. I've also studied, so I've got an accounting degree, a legal degree, a master's in tax, an economics degree, um, I'm a CPA. But it's really about accounting is such an important part of a business. Um, and it's really, you've got to get that foundation right. So that's where I feel it's sort of my mission and purpose in life is to help clients get their accounting right, get them on the right track with their money and their finances, um, make sure they're um, legally smart with how they're structuring their business. Because it's one thing to grow a business, but if all your assets are tied into that business, if anything happens to that business and everything is in there, um, then it, it's, it's not the ideal situation. So we look at a lot of different aspects and that just becomes part of our, just a proactive approach that you probably don't see with a lot of accounting firms, which is why um, I'm, we're in a, re a really high demand. So um, feel free to uh, get in touch with us if you are looking for an accountant. If you don't think, if this, I always tell clients, or I tell people, if you think there is something wrong with, uh, with your tax situation now, there probably is. It doesn't pay to get a second opinion. Um, we picked up a lot of mistakes where like cars have just been forgotten from tax returns, figures we don't know where they've come from. Sometimes accountants are now outsourcing it overseas and you've got to be really um, mindful if your work is getting outsourced overseas the quality control in someone checking that work um, because we had a client where just a whole lot of business deductions were not claimed as business deductions um, because the people overseas didn't know what those transactions were. So 
um, yeah, there's a lot of things to be aware of, which um, we like to help clients with. Great stuff. Wow. That's um, a lot of value that we've just packed into one little episode. Um, obviously, if you're watching this video, you totally understand that our mission is to make sure that everyone's business is profitable and you actually enjoy working in that business. Now, if your money is right and if you've got the right advice and the right team behind yourself, you will not only be prosperous in that business, but you will actually have a peace of mind. We are only doing this so that we can sleep well at night. So when it's time to look for a tax accountant, you might want to look for one that has all this experience, all these accolades and a track record and has got your best interests at heart. And also it not only would that save you a lot of money, but also a lot of potential trouble with the Australian tax office. All right. So not only are tax um, people there to scare you about what is going wrong, they're actually there to communicate what the numbers in our business actually mean. Now, Miriam, thank you so much for your time today. I cannot thank you enough. Is there one last thing that you can just you know, give us as a word of warning or as a word of encouragement for those that are starting out and those that are in business that they shouldn't fear the accountant? It's not the dentist. <laughs> um i i think if you yeah if you connect with the right accountant then you shouldn't have those issues i know clients leave my um office I, i'll hear one of my staff members just there's so much laughter happening from her um office but i will just say probably more so um a shout out to what you're doing prosper because a lot of people have um, the ideal that um, I'm going to set a business, I'm going to start a business and um, they think it's possibly going to be um, a bit easier than what they anticipate. They, antis they forecast their revenue to probably be double what it actually is. But that is because they're not getting the support from other people around them that are, have can coach them in it. So I think what you're doing is really important um, and is to get your I get a good A team around you um, because not every business becomes profitable from the beginning. But if you have the right A team, if you've got formulas, if you've got strategy in place to do it, you can definitely do it. So shout out to what you're doing um, because it's, it's such a phenomenal thing to be able to have a profitable business and a lifestyle. And um, if you are out there, um, get in touch with Prosper because he's doing awesome things on um, his Facebook and on this show and bringing um, people like this to you is just phenomenal. So yeah, just want to um, really congratulate you on what you're doing because there is this missing link um, between getting that um, whole mindset of being able to have a profitable business, but also then showing how you can do that right from the beginning. Um, Cause you know, the percentage of uh, the, business percentage failure rate is quite high. So you need to be doing these things from the beginning. Um, and yeah, well done Prosper with this creating what you've created. Well, thank you so much. This wasn't about me, right? But I I'll take it. <laughs> I, I can't thank you enough. Now, just to reiterate on what you're saying, um, the media has actually crippled people so much in as much as we now live in what I'm calling the episode era everything happens in a, in an episode of 30 minutes somebody is born then they go to college then they uh, go to university and then they get married they get kids and then they get a good job and then they retire and then they die all in a matter of 30 minutes and then you skip to the next episode now people don't know that it actually takes 21 years to be 21 years old. So everybody's rushing into all of these things. And then pretty much after watching that one episode of somebody growing up, they watch an episode of Shark Tank and they think that's what entrepreneurship is. All right. So I thank you so much for taking your time. I know it's school holidays and, um, <laughs> you know, you could be doing better things, but you decided to spend a bit of time enlightening us on what are the best practices to do around your text and how to actually put it all together um, so that, you know, your business is actually profitable. Thank you once again, Miriam. Thanks, Prosper. See you later. You've done this before, haven't you? <laughs>
Yeah? Was that top enough? One take, just like that. Come on, this was a fluke. You, you, you've been practicing, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great stuff. All right, now this is this is.